I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you few interesting questions on percent. The question here is, if you increase the number by certain percentage, then reduce the result by the same percentage, you don't get the original number. That's the statement. You don't get the original number. Is this statement true or false? Explain. That's the question for you. So you can take some numbers, try it out, and then answer. That is probably the best way. Now this question is also for my middle school students who are not familiar with algebra. So I'll take very simple numbers to begin with. So the question is, if you increase a number, so it could be any number, when we talk about percent, the good number to start with is 100. So if you increase a number by certain percent, how much percent? Let's increase it by, uh, let's increase by what? Simple example, 10%. Okay, so we'll increase 100 by 10%. Then reduce or increase means positive and then reduce uh, by 10%. Okay, same percent. Okay, reduce the result by the same percent. You don't get the original number. Let's try it out, right? There's no harm, correct? So if I have 100, increase by 10%. That means what? Increasing by 10%. So 10% of 100 is... 10 over 100 times 100 and that is equal to 100, 100 cancels, just the number 10. That is to say, if I increase 100 by 10%, then what am I getting? I'm getting 100 plus this 10, is it okay? Which is 110, is it okay? 110. Well, some of you could have calculated directly, 100 increased by 10 really means 100 times by 10% means 1.10 multiply so you get the same result 110 okay so that is what it is so you could do that if it is reduced instead of saying 1 plus 10% 1 minus 10% that means okay now now what we have to do is reduce by 10% but remember we are not reducing 100 now we are reducing 110 so this result reduced by 10%. It really means what? We start with 110. So 10% of 110, that means 10 out of 100 times 110. Now this 0 cancels, this 0 cancels. We are left with 11, right? So in this case, we have to reduce, means take away from original number. Original number is 110. We have to reduce 11. Okay. So let's write it down. 110 minus 11 is equal to what? Let's use the calculator to ensure that we are getting the right result. Okay. Minus 11 gives me 99. It is one less than what we started with. So you don't get the original number. Yeah, you don't you get one less. So if you increase by 10% and reduce the same result by 10%, you get a different number. The statement is, can I say always true? Well, it is looks as if true. So my answer is true. Can you tell me the reason why it is true? It is true because we are reducing by same amount, I should say same person, a different number, right? We are reducing a different number, a higher number. Since we added, right, so we are reducing a different number. Do you see that? Since in this case, the number was higher by 10%, we got a result which was lower than the number we started with. You get it, right? So we, when we increased by 10%, we added 10, but when we reduced by 10%, we took away 11, not 10. Since we reduced on the higher number, and that's the reason why. If you increase by the same percent and the result is reduced by the same percent, you do not get the same number which you started with. It is a very important concept to understand, and I hope this example helps you to understand this concept right? Some of you 
could also start with a general number let us say x right so x will be general number when you increase by 10 percent it becomes what it becomes 1.1 1 .1 times x is that okay and now when you reduce by 10 percent it will be going to 0.9x right so that is how it is going to change and to get kind of similar results so i like you to practice a general number make a similar example so that you could write it for sure that it is always always true is it okay so that helps if you start with a general number you can safely say it is always true I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos to learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.